So we are obviously back here in the UK. We're getting all settled, really enjoying it. But loads of you guys want to know what our plans are and you've been asking us an absolute ton of questions. Yeah. And we have a lot to say. This is um, a decision what we've made over a long time to come back to the UK. We were always planning it, like we wanted to travel back here for a trip and we were yeah. waiting for the right time yeah. to be able to do that. But then simultaneously, we have been dealing with a lot of issues while we've been in Costa Rica as well. Yeah. And we've been having like family meetings about them. We've been trying to figure out what is the best decision for us. And then with some of the issues we've been having, there's been times where we've been dealing with them and then we've like kind of solved them technically and then everything's been going good and then they keep like happening again, which we'll go like in more detail. Like reoccurring issues. Yeah. So it wasn't yeah. like during Costa Rica, there wasn't like 100% ongoing issues. They yeah. just kept popping up now and then. Mm. But yeah, we'll, we'll explain. But they were, they were serious enough serious, for us yeah. to have to really keep evaluating whether we were making yeah. the right decision to decide to live there or not. And so as of this moment right now, we've decided that we may very well not go back. So in yeah. this video, we're going to explain why. So this in the video when we were leaving Costa Rica but there's been loads of exciting things that we've wanted to do back in the UK and one of the main reasons why I wanted to come back to the UK is because I need to have some really important surgery and I wasn't able to have it in Costa Rica but I'm gonna make a video all about that very soon because I had my consultation the other day and I'm just waiting to um, get some confirmation back about that consultation from the surgeon <laughs> and then I'm gonna make the video when it's more like set in stone And then you've got some exciting plans, haven't you? I am going to be getting my driver's license. Well, <laughs> I'm going to be doing the driving optimistic. test. I like no, it. No, that's good. Man. Yes, optimistic. I'm completely optimistic and I'm sure that I'm going to pass it. I want to go to like all the fun shops and just like... Yeah. I wanted to go back to England, like my home country. Like It's kind of odd because people usually have a holiday away from the home country, but like we're having like one... To our home country, country. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's cool, but yeah. yeah. Later on, one of the reasons why, but there's just like things that we took for granted mm -hmm. in the UK yeah. and in Costa yeah. Rica, it was for really sure. apparent. Yeah. Anyway, so that's why we were we planning a trip to the UK, but then there's been a lot of ongoing reasons about like, are we making the right decision? So here's like all the reasons, starting with the biggest one about what was an ongoing thing for us in yeah. Costa Rica. And can you guys remember, when we stopped vlogging for two months. It was like March till May 2021. We didn't vlog at all, barely did any stories. And obviously we let you guys know on Instagram stories that the babies had a skin rash and we just weren't gonna be filming while they were suffering of that. It was genuine suffering, it was really- I can't even remember saying that though. I felt like we just went completely quiet because we felt so like- No, you did say it was, yeah, we, we were, we were really sad about it, yeah. obviously. We were yeah, really sad really about sad. it. We were, yeah, we were just like, what do we do here? Because everything felt so amazing. It was like, it felt like it all fell into place. We were so excited about being yeah. there. We had that new like, you know, honeymoon period of it just being amazing and everything being incredible. Yeah. And then it was like, we got there the beginning of February and it was only like by, I don't know, a couple of weeks after being there, then everyone, everyone. No, but, but it, it was after like six weeks of being there, it first happened to Karma. We first noticing this skin rash, which we'll go into more detail in a minute because it isn't just a skin rash. Karma first started getting the symptoms and then it went on Koa, then it went on me and then maybe Sienna, didn't it? But at first, yeah. it was about six weeks, Darren, right. after being there. Well, or, I know- Or was it four weeks, actually? Because somebody um, noticed it on the babies and we were just yeah. thought, like, it would just go, because we just thought, like, babies do get, like, rashes and things. Yeah. And we just also, we knew there'd be, yeah. obviously, there's different bacteria in different countries. Yeah. Yeah. So like everybody's aware of staff and like when we went to Sri Lanka before, we got like some different staff and you get some little scabs, but this was like, this was on a it different, was different level. Yeah, it was on a different it's... level and it was really, really horrible. So what it is. So we actually got it diagnosed and it was ringworm, something called ringworm. But which, it's not a worm. But it's not actually a worm, it's yeah. a fungus which lives on the skin. And the reason they call it ringworm is because one of the the symptoms of it is that you can have like a, a ring mark on your it makes skin. Like a circle. Which looks like a worm. And um, Yeah. 
Yeah. So that was obviously a lot to have to come to terms with and we were getting to a point where we were just like, right, I don't think we should put up with this anymore. By that point we were thinking, right, let's kind of weigh up pros and cons. We were having conversations about this. There were some other little trivial things and yeah. then there was some other quite major things. So some of the little tiny trivial things were just like there was mold on everything. Yeah. Even when people would come around, like our architect would come and see us and we're like, is it normal that, you know, you put your spatula back in the pot on the side and then after yeah. two days it's got mold on it. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's Costa Rica, like, it's what instance, happens. I bought loads oh. of really sustainable bamboo kitchenware and bamboo in Costa Rica, all of our chocolate it goes then, moldy straight away. And then Like, is it normal that even in vacuum sealed tubs where you put your food, bugs get in there and start eating through it all the time? Like, even in plastic packaging of things, bugs get through everything. Because like, you guys asked us once before, why do you put your oats in the fridge? And we were like, well, because otherwise they get full of ants. So, another tiny yeah. thing, another tiny thing was just the fact that any of the things that we had to do, like for instance, if they wanted a women's hairdressers, that was five hours there, five hours back. The, like, we, we were very remote. And the only stuff that we could like get anything, like if we needed to buy something from a shop, anything like that, it was a 10 hour round trip. Like so obviously if your phone breaks. We'd end up having to stay there overnight and it would be a whole trip just to yeah. do something which everyone else, like in other parts of the world or a lot of other parts of the world, they take for granted they can just pop down the road. And then deliveries, if we wanted to order something online, as you guys know, it would take six weeks and that's not because it's taking six weeks to travel. Literally DHL will give you a 48 hour delivery. It arrives in the country and then due to all their different government regulations and various like paperwork that it has to go through, it sits there going through all these rounds of paperwork, not really doing anything. And then you finally get it like four to six weeks later. Yeah. yeah. So those are some of the other like small trivial things which were just adding on top of the, 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 the terrible felt, skin yeah. thing which we were having to deal with with the babies. But then also there were some elements which Mia was speaking to us about and actually cried to us about sometimes. I think I definitely love traveling and exploring the world is something that I definitely want to do. However, there are, are lots of things that I want to do which I feel like I need to be in a developed country for and Costa Rica wasn't really the place. Like even I was speaking to my friends about this, like Costa Rica amazing if you just want to live on the beach if you want to surf and stuff like that but if you have like dreams and you want to like I don't know be more independent I feel like it's very difficult there like I had a lot of friends who were like older than me and they still couldn't really like move out and start doing their own thing like they were still reliant on their parents which if you want that that's fine but I don't know if I'm gonna want that in the future and I want to be more independent and it's not really the place for that unless maybe if you went to the city but I don't really that's not my favorite city in the world so I would much rather be in a city like London or another city in like the US or somewhere like that a country where I feel more comfortable and independent and there's a lot more of an infrastructure like the beach is amazing but there's only so many times you can go to the beach if you want to like if you like the beach then sure that's amazing and I do like the beach but there are other things I want to do in my life which I need to have more than the beach yeah I feel be like able you to loved do. it to start with but yeah. then it was, as we all did and I still yeah. love, loved it yeah yeah And I still want to go to like have that beach lifestyle sometimes, but I feel like it's more of like a vacation, yeah. and not what yeah. I want to be my complete life. And I feel like um like you said you you were quite frustrated one time, and you said to me how you're just a bit worried about your future that you're just going to be stuck there and it's yeah, a bit I sleepy, my lads. There wasn't it's just like, like either I, surfing. I feel like yeah. getting any, drunk. like for example with my channel, I'd come up with all this long list of ideas and I'm like, oh I can't do that because of shops or oh I can't do that because of delivery. Like I have to be like 
I literally, if I want to do like a video about like outfits, I have to order it two months in advance. And then sometimes I'd order it like two months in advance and then the, the like the delivery would get canceled because it's just, it's not easy. So it, it just kind of made me yeah. feel very unmotivated. <laughs> make the videos that I wanted to because any idea that I was excited to make I was like oh I can't do that yeah so then, that was just like kind of made me just feel like oh then what like what can I do like, I feel like yeah, there's something yeah. I don't know if you want to speak about this or not if tell me if you don't want to talk about it and then we won't include it in the video obviously but I feel like there was something more serious what concerned us as well is the amount of times Mia would come home and say how she feels uncomfortable yeah. how men are looking at her she yeah. said because yeah. she's like a blonde haired person and there wasn't many blonde haired people there, there was like a thing of where, because you spoke to your friends about it. Yeah, and if, it's, well it's not just that I'm blonde haired as well, That I think that definitely adds to it, but just like it is a Latin American country and yeah, it's definitely like one of the safest ones, but... <laughs> It's okay in like if in certain areas, but I want to explore and be independent and have to go like I want to be able to go wherever I want and not have to feel like I have to have like my parents with me all the time. Obviously, yeah. that's not always the best idea, and it it's like sometimes you just feel uncomfortable, especially as like a female in those yeah. countries. Like it it is like a known thing, like even in like the tourist guidebooks that like it's not. Well, I think in like the Lonely Planet books, they do say when you go to Costa Rica. Um, it's relatively really safe for females. But yeah, be like, warned, I'm you're not saying be, it's not. I'm but not it says it's that dangerous can, then. No, no, but, but I'm saying it feels sometimes uncomfortable, especially because of how like. No, it says that like men catcall. Yeah, it, that's in the, a in very the lonely common planet thing guy, there. It says that you can get catcalled, which you know maybe that doesn't sound super serious, but actually like if you're walking down the street and well, like just, men, men are whistling nice or shouting stuff at you, it actually is like quite like. But for a seventeen-year-old as well. No, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't. Like when I was there, I had friends who were older than me and younger than me. And some of my friends were like 14, and it would happen to them as well. Yeah. If she was 14, it would be like old men. So, so obviously, that was concerning very us when, weird. when Mia's coming home and telling us that. So, it's like another thing to, to add to the list, you know? It's like obviously the skin thing was the most significant thing, but then it was just like these other little things. And it's not to say there weren't like a ton of pros about the place, absolute oh, ton wow. of pros. Which like, is like why we. It, it was yeah. like literally going to paradise, but then it was just slowly these things where it was like, hang on, there's more to life than just beautiful beaches and sunshine when there's these yeah. these things what we're really concerned about as well going on simultaneously. So we're, we're yeah. having to really make decisions and it's only like now that we've got to the UK and we're, we're finally able to really evaluate no, what's but one going thing on. That did, one thing that did prompt us to um, re-evaluate was obviously we've been in the process of building our dream house there and it kept getting delayed and yeah. delayed and delayed and like we were planning to be living in our dream house um, before at, Christmas before Christmas yeah. and then suddenly yeah. we found out like because because we wanted to build an eco house and we had like we wanted to have all solar panels on it we wanted to have all, like non-toxic paint and all these materials and like we were actually like really thinking about it being like a really sustainable build the builder who was originally working with us he said guys I can't do this I'm gonna pass you on to some other um, builders and architects who will really be able to help you and they'll know what they're doing and because we made that switch it then caused a huge massive delay in the house build which we just weren't preparing for so we were like renting a house there for a year and we were happy to rent for that place well no hang on side note on that on that note as well it's literally more expensive than Dubai to live there. Yeah, so, so yeah, we were renting expensive. and it was sky Which, so high So we never prices. planned that. And guys, we could have gone with an easier to build house if we wanted, but we wanted to do like this eco dream house, you know. Well, it's, yeah, so because, because we've spent literally the last year talking about this and trying to work out what's the best decision for us, this isn't difficult for us to come to terms with because we've been slowly easing our way yeah. towards the decision anyway. And it got to the point where it's just like, right, there's only one decision to make. We're gonna leave. The, the cards See have lined up perfectly. When
now able to leave, we're able to go back to the UK and so now we're at a state of like, just feeling excited and feeling yeah. optimistic about what the future like may hold. Empathy, Compassion, Cooperation. And I know that we love playing games. Well, we, we don't do it often, but I really want us to start having board games with the baby story. If we try and start playing a board game, they destroy it. But this looks good because you can throw them. So I thought maybe we could get yeah. away with it. These look really cool. I know, I was really impressed with this. Yeah, they look cool. Looks like a cool game. Have you got any advice? Okay, this one. I can see what that is. Yeah, you can. There goes Patty McGee. Skateboarding. It's the bat thing, skateboarder. Wow, that looks really cool. I'm definitely gonna read this later. Yeah. That looks it really cool. It says the cool. first women's national skateboard champion. Wow. Yeah. That is so cool. Will that help okay. inspire you? <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, you've got a good memory. Perfume. Perfume lab. Sweet smelling sight. <laughs> I want it like a perfume kit. Oh my goodness, Jasmine and Rose. This looks really cool. Thank you. How did you manage to find this? I thought it'd be like impossible to find. <laughs> it's so getting it so close, Dad. I thought it'd be impossible to find it. Wow. <laughs> Dad. And bought it all. Darren designed what? it. You're it's very me. Own. Darren like came out with all what? of it. Yeah. Thank you. Your very own car. What? It's like his basketball court. In you it. can show off with the boys with your. Do you like it? Look it's at amazing. It. Check it out. Go and check the school. <gasps> oh my check goodness. The yeah. Wow. Thank, thank you. you. What? Do you like to bow on it? or get the spray. It sprays at you. Uh, this present is from Nanny and Grandad. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah? Can I open it? Of course you can. Yeah. Uh, uh. Whoa. Look in here. <gasps> oh, my goodness. A cardboard. <laughs> a little cardboard. Oh. It's your very own one, Karma. I love the colors. Karma. Karma, yeah. I'm so Can excited I, for you. We got this. Did Nanny and Grant bought it for me? Yeah, they did. Are you going to open the big one up now, Karma? Yeah. Maybe this is very heavy. You probably have to open that one up on the floor, I reckon. Oh. For Mummy to help you. No. Okay. Oh. You're, doing a good job. You're doing a good job. You need to help you. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, this might be something magic me or Daddy has to fix. I don't know if it's going to be put up yet. Oh. There you go, Mia. Oh my goodness, is this fun? What is this, Karma? I think there is oh going to be goodness. some assembly required, but sure. the main part. Oh! 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 Big one. That is the alpaca, Karma. And we're going to put the walking bit on the bottom, and then you can walk on. A bike, a special bike. No, it's mine. Yeah. No, it's Coe's one because you're going to get a bike now with pedals. And Coe can have a balanced bike. Look at the colour. How gorgeous is that yeah, colour? That's really nice. Daddy can put this together today, Coe, and you can practice in the garden. Aww. Look at it. It's going to look so smart. It's a unicycle. I'm going to build it. You're going to build it. <laughs> He just has to get a feel for it. It's your bike, Koa. I think Koa wants to have a go at feel. You know when you got your one, you you had a practice on it and then soon you were whizzing around the front garden, weren't you? Because you got a feel for it. This is what these balance bikes are good for. So soon he'll be whizzing around, won't he? Like so when we get home, Karma, you're going to have to show bike, him Koa. you on your bike and show him how to do it and then he'll just copy you because he looks up to you, doesn't he? Blue. Blue, yeah. so far Sienna? Good. You enjoying it? Yeah, definitely. What's been your favourite thing about it so far? The pool. You love playing it. I saw you pushing your friends in there. Those, <laughs> your boyfriends, well your friends that are boys I meant. Mm -hmm. I'm not embarrassing you and <laughs> later on you get to have your sleepover don't you? I mean, so you've got no, I'm excited Should we that. play some more party games now? Mm -hmm. Do you want to play some more? I've got another really fun game plan. Okay. Which is like very magical themes. Okay. <laughs> 